Madden Gods. Perfect. Welcome to Tips for Gamers. Today we're going to show you guys the going rate for offensive linemen. And this this is imperative to know. If you guys followed our outside how to sign linebackers, you followed our how to sign defensive linemen, and now this video here, you're, you're going to have so much more knowledge than everyone else in your franchise because no one, very few people know this, very few. You're going to come across most that do not. And you're going to have just so much more knowledge than them on how to save millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. And I'm talking like the number is so astronomical that if you, like, if you sign two D linemen, on one side of the D-line compared to the other, or like in the interior, you guys got to watch that video. You could be spending $80 million more in the course of four years. And then you, you add on the linebackers. Then you add on the offensive linemen. You could be well over $100 million for the same players compared to them being signed at other positions. Some of it's realistic. A lot, a lot of it's not. And we're going to show you guys all these numbers and you guys are just going to have so much more knowledge. This is probably one of the most important tips that we can give you. Like truly the most important tips because you're just going to save so much money and be able to use that in other areas to, to make your team better. So with that being said, if you guys haven't liked the video already, I don't know what you're doing. Make sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, and let's light it up. So we're going to start out at left tackle first. You can see he wants $28 million for one year. Now, how are contracts constructed in Madden? Well, the amount of the contract is not dependent on development. doesn't matter what his development is. doesn't matter what his age is. It doesn't matter uh, production on the field. Nothing like that. It's only overall, right? That's it. Now, the amount of years is his age. So that's why you see a one-year deal there instead of him asking for a five-year deal, and that's because he's older, right? Age only influences the amount of years. Overall influences how much the contract is worth. So keep that in mind if you're signing an offensive lineman as a normal dev. Dev is a pain in the neck to get it up for offensive linemen. Okay, it is pretty hard to get that up. You have to be uh, relatively lucky to, to get yours up, okay? So keep that in mind. If you're signing a normal dev, you'd be signing the same amount if he was a superstar. Okay, so have that in the back of your head when you're signing these contracts. So $28 million is what he wants as a left tackle. Let's compare that to right tackle and see how much the difference is. Okay, so let's quickly go over spotrack.com. They, they list the average um, contract for offensive linemen. Left tackles tend to get paid more money because it's the blind spot usually because quarterbacks are right-handed, so it's easier to look right. And, you know, Apparently you have a complete blinders on your left side, and I get it. I do get it. It is the blind spot, and you got to protect the blind spot and smart. Now, but what's the going rate? So 25 million Laramie Tunzel, that's off to the moon. That's just not the average for the 1% of the 1%. Andrew Thomas, 23.5. Trent Williams, 23 million. David Bakhtari, 23 million. Right? Then we go to other positions. Uh, Chris Lindstrom. 20, 20 million dollars. Lane Johnson, 20 million dollars. Quint Nelson, 20 million dollars. Juwan Taylor, 20 million dollars. So there is definitely a difference in, in cost because as a left tackle, Trent Williams wants 28 million dollars, which would even embarrass Laramie Tunzel's amazing contract of 25 million dollars for, for an average, right? He wants 28 million as a left tackle. As a right tackle, he wants 20 million dollars. Now, looking at those numbers, that is realistic. I wouldn't complain with 20 million dollars. Now, if he is a left tackle, was 23, maybe 24, okay. Now you're starting to hit data points that I actually believe in. But you're talking 8 million in two years. I'm going to be paying you 16 million more. That's not even, that's off to the moon. Not even making sense. Um, so left tackles, in my opinion, based on the data points and based on what we've seen in Madden and all that, left tackles are just not realistic with signing them. Okay, when they get to stupid uh, overall numbers, right? High overall numbers. Um, right tackles, this is a much more easier number that I can make sense of that, well, this is the going rate. Okay, so we know left tackles, 28 million. We know right tackles, 20 million. Now we know left guard is 18 million point nine, basically $19 million. So you're looking at a million dollars off um, from a left guard to the right tackle. Now, once again, we even know that this number is a little bit shy uh, compared to the average going rate for the top dogs. Um, so he's asking for about a million dollars, $1.1 million less than what the big dogs would be getting 
um, in the NFL today. So th this is good. Left guards, they, they have already um, won compared to everyone else. Now let's compare it to right guards. Okay, so a right guard. A right guard is looking at $19.3 million. So a little bit more than a left guard. Apparently right guards are a little bit more valuable. Don't really understand that. This is close to the going rate uh, in real life. Um, but you're still looking at like almost $10 million less per year than a left tackle from both these positions. Okay, and then the next final one obviously is going to be the center, which we already know centers are going to be, you know, drastically less. Now, it is massive, the number, the number difference. So you're talking $12.5 million dollars compared to a left tackle at 28 million dollars so if you sign centers you are going to be rich okay now people will probably call you out on maybe that's not super realistic maybe you can you can do that for your interior line when you start going to the tackles you might get called out for that okay um, but i would sign right tackles i would sign left guards and i would sure in the heck sign centers because centers are going to save you stupid amounts of cash. I mean, you're, you're going to be so rich. If, if you have a guy who's just signing centers, that dude's going to be, you're going to be like, how does this dude keep getting everybody? Well, he's got more money than everybody by far. And if he uses our other videos, you're, you're going to have over $100 million more than everyone else with a better roster. It'd be insane. Anyways, hope this helped you guys use this knowledge. And uh, we'll see you again soon.